à tous de DDO. Attention pour le début de la séquence d'allumage lanceur. Top, à Giro moins 20 secondes. Largage du MAVKM, allumage triétage. À tous de DDO. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Et décollage VSS. They are off. Hispasat 36 W1. The European Space Agency's first ever small geo platform has begun its journey. Soyuz is hauling itself against the pull of our planet. The boosters are doing all the work at the moment. They're delivering 80% of the thrust right now. The parameters propulsive are conform to the He's telling us that the propulsion is as expected. So the booster's job is to get us away from Earth. We need a lot of firepower to do that. Soyuz is heading out east over the Atlantic, and that's a first for the Soyuz vehicle here at the Guiana Space Center. It's the first time it's headed east, usually it goes west, or north. He's telling us everything's normal, everything's going according to plan. You can see our altitude there, 43 kilometers above the Earth, down at the bottom left, and this is the scheduled moment for separation of the boosters. This is an image from a previous launch. Look at that. They twist and turn as they fall of the way. It's all part of the plan. So we're now burning the main core stage, which is now called the second stage, or block A. Everything's going well. A word about the confirmations of major events in the flight. We're seeing the key moments happening at the right time, but we get the actual confirmations of those milestones slightly later. That's perfectly normal. That's because it takes a little time for the information to get from the launcher to the range operations manager here at the Guiana Space Center. And that's because it goes via Moscow, where it's validated before coming to the Launch Control Center here at the CSG. Le déroulement du vol est conforme à l'attendu. Top right-hand side of the screen is the trajectory, the planned trajectory. The white dot is the actual position of the launcher. Distance in the bottom middle there is the distance uh, from the pad if you were to draw a line along the Earth. So we are now jettisoning the fairing that was protecting the satellite during the launch. But we don't need it anymore because if you look at our altitude on the bottom left, you can see that we're 120 kilometers high and we have crossed the border, the Kármán line as it's known, effectively the border with space. So there's not enough friction to cause us any problems and we can see our satellite for the first time. Les paramètres bord sont normaux. Our speed there on the right hand side, three kilometers per second at the moment. We'll be getting faster later. Let's just remind everybody that's kilometers per second. So we can see 
our satellite, there it is on the right, the rectangular or square looking sections, the blue sections are the solar panels and the gold structure is the frigate upper stage. And now we have the scheduled, scheduled separation of the second stage and ignition of the third stage. Actually, it's the other way around. Ignition of the third stage first and separation of the second stage later. That's because Soyuz... There we go, have the confirmation there. Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. That means that the third stage switches its engine on while the second stage is still burning. That's why the Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages, a kind of latticework area. The launch campaign manager for OHB. Everybody focusing hard here. The computer generated images that we are looking at, there they are, that's showing us what the experts have calculated is happening. Le vol se déroule comme attendu. This was six minutes and seven seconds ago. The 16th Soyuz to lift off from the Guyana Space Center. It's the first time it's flown east, but it's also the first time that it's carried a satellite or carrying a satellite to geostationary orbit from the Guiana Space Center. Not the first time that Soyuz has taken a satellite to geotransfer orbit, but the first time from here. Galio on the top left uh, of the, these are the tracking stations you can see here. Galio is the one at the Guiana Space Center. And Natal is the next one to pick up the signal. That's in northeastern Brazil. Acquisition de la mesure par la station de Natal au Brésil. He's just confirmed that we've picked up the signal there in the Natal tracking station. That was a superb launch, wasn't it? Really beautiful. What a sight. So that was seven and a half minutes ago. We are heading off. He's telling us that the all three axes are uh, going according to plan there as planned. Heading off on our 32-minute journey.